This year, Boxburg hosted the 1990 Penny Pinchers SA Schools Water Polo Tournament. This tournament, now in its 17th year, is run over three days, with 17 teams from nine provinces taking part. 250 players gathered to play 64 matches. For water polo, the pool is sectioned off to 30 metres by 20 metres, and the minimum depth is 1,8 metres. That means no one can stand. In the game water polo, there are seven players in the water at once, and with a mix maximum of six substitutes, which uh, remain on the side, and come in at various times during the game, after a goal has been scored, or at the end of a quarter or chucker. And each chucker is just five minutes of solid playing time. Only solid playing time, not time taken to fetch the ball and uh, when the ref speaks to the player or anything like that. Water polo is physically and mentally a very demanding sport. What skills are required to play this game? Um, obviously it helps to be a strong swimmer. Uh, a lot of swimming is involved and quick reflexes because the direction of the game changes quite rapidly. Uh, obviously treading water and good legs is probably the most important. Getting out of the water, being able to uh, give good passes and good shots and uh, see what's actually happening in the play itself. And uh, a lot of it's in the attitude itself, just thinking about what you're going to do in the game. Especially it's a very, very good team sport because uh, you can't play by yourself. This is the only interprovincial event for water polo and it is here that school, provincial and national colours are awarded. Each province selects the best players from all their schools to form a provincial team, which only has about two weeks in which to practice together before this tournament. The main aim of the tournament is for each team in the A section, they in their own section, they play against one another. And the whole thing works on a point system. Two points for a win, one point for a draw, and no points for a loss. And at the end of the day, you the, the winning side has the most points. Northern Transvaal is a young team. Almost all the boys are from Pretoria High. The captain is matric student Marius Oberholzer, who is playing in this tournament for the second time. Northern Transvaal has a problem in that very few schools in this area are playing water polo. Eastern Transvaal captain is Peter Rinaldi and one of their star players is Simon Daly who's in Standard 8 and has been in the team since Standard 6. Not bad. Eastern Transvaal last won this event in 1985. Oh, you can't get closer than that. Well, Eastern Transvaal didn't have their best year this year. We won all but six games and we only played seven of them. Western Province was third in this event last year. Goalie Sam Joint is the captain and it's his second time in the Western Province A side. Another good player is Roddy van Breeder. Most players come from Sachs, Rondebosch and Bishops. Western Province's problem is that there is a shortage of teachers in this area. The mighty Natal has won this tournament outright for the last four years. Three of the previous players have gone on to become Springboks. Their strongest player is Jean Osterhazen, who played for the team last year as well. All the players come from either Kersney or Northwood, and the captain is Chris McLeod. This game was a decider for third place. Natal won this match, so that put them third, with Western Province taking fourth place. But why do these boys play water polo? Water polo for me is a strenuous, tough game. It keeps the, keeps the young man fit and it's a game that could be played for until a guy's about 40 years old and he can still play a good game of water polo. Well, we hope that all these guys are still fit when they are 40. Transvaal A is one of the top teams this year. Last year they were fourth. The star of the side is Neville Watt, and other top players are left-hander Jason Druin, who has scored most goals this tournament, and captain Craig Hines, who is playing in his fifth SA Schools tournament this year. Transvaal A played well this year to take second place. The two referees have been kept busy this match, and we've seen some great goals, as well as some equally impressive saves.
Most of the Natal B players are only in standard nine. It is a well-balanced side and they have surprised everyone by playing some really great water polo. The team is captained by Justin Truter. And a great save by Natal. You have to remain cool at all times if, if you want to be a good water polo player. So it requires a very good temperament as well. And in that sense, it's a good test of your sportsmanship. I enjoy being fit and water is probably one of the best ways of keeping fit. Other than that, I also enjoy team sports and I enjoy being around a lot of people. Eastern Province lacks depth, but they have a couple of very good players. Andrew Johnson, who used to play for Northern Transvaal and is having his third year in this tournament, and Captain David Nezer, who is only 16 years old. Well, Border made a clean sweep of it by winning all eight of their matches. They're a very strong team with star players Michael Kidson, Steve Hatley and Captain Mark Andrews adding to their strength. Well, I'm absolutely thrilled because it's the first time Border won the national event and um, last year we were runners-up and I thought we had the chances we put it together and I'm extremely proud of the whole side. I really think they put it together tremendously. Well, the border side comes from East London. Our side consisted of two main schools, Selborne and Dale. We had we were eight Selbornians and two Dalians, so it's virtually an effort from two schools. And um, we did a, a bit of training, we did about two and a half weeks of training. We didn't get much chance to train together because of final exams and that. But um, we came up here, we managed to pull it off and it's been a great tournament. Border won, but everyone had fun and enjoyed the opportunity of pitting their skills against those of the other provincial teams. And so the results of the 1990 Penny Pinchers SA Schools Water Polo Tournament in Boxburg. First Border A, followed by Transvaal, Natal and Western Province. And here's the winning team, captained by Andrews, Kitson, Fulford, Davies and Turner, Safi, Hatley, Cherrington, Metzler, Belikov and Wynn. The highlight of this tournament is to make the SA Schools team. Three selectors elected by teachers from all provinces choose 11 players from this tournament for the SA Schools team, for which they are awarded the National School Colours. The SA Schools team is Andrews, Kitson and Hatley, all from Border, Hines from Transvaal, Osterhazen from Natal and Safi from Border, then from Western Province, Van Breda, Van Heerden from Transvaal, Walsh from Western Province, Bruin and Watt. South African Schools Water Polo Championships held at the stadium pool in Bloemfontein recently. And in the crunch match of the tournament, reigning champions Border in the Blue Caps took on current leaders Transvaal. 